My mom had enrolled me into after swim school, like a competition swimming program. I used to attend swim school from the age of 3 until 11 years of age. The worst day of my life, when my mother announced that I'd graduated from baby swimming and can now join competition swimming. I was scared. I didn't know what to expect in that swimming program. Those guys and girls would be way better than me. After all, I come from a swimming program where I have toddlers swimming in the same pool. The day arrived after school. My mom picked me up and drove me to my new swim school. I could see from afar the swimming coach who looked very mean and scary. I was just nervous seeing his face and all the older kids, probably about 20 to 25 children in that swim team. That was enough to scare me. I pleaded to my mother, please don't take me, those guys are way better than me. And I know I'll make myself look like a complete fool. My mother didn't want to hear anything about it and just told me to have confidence in myself. I tried, but where can I find this confidence in myself, I thought. I gave her the eye and walked to my class. My coach introduced me as a new kid to the entire class. All the kids stopped what they were doing and stared at me. As I walked past the poolside, they were all lined in a row inside the pool, each of them staring at me from top to bottom and whispering to each other. After class, I went to the locker room to change my clothes. I was inside my stall, changing my clothes, when I got something wet tossed on my head. They turned out to be someone else's shorts. The next few days, the exact same thing started happening with the people throwing their wet clothes inside my stall to bug me. They would taunt me in the pool and make fun of me and make faces at me. I kept thinking what immature kids they are. I complained to my coach, but apparently he didn't really seem to care. And finally, I told my mother about it. She said she would talk to my coach. Nothing really solved. Each day, I had to deal with immature kids giggling and kicking me with their feet while I would swim behind them. Obviously, I would always be the last one and they would make fun of me for that. Then one day, it all changed when a kid actually started talking to me. I asked him his age and he said he was six. I was like, what? You are a six-year-old? How is that possible? I said. It turned out that the entire class, the kids were from six of age to eight years of age, and I was the only one eleven-year-old in my class. I was not going to let little kids rule me. If anyone was going to rule it, it would be me. Anyone who kicked me from behind, I would simply grab their legs in the pool. Anyone who threw their dirty wet shorts or shirt at me in the locker room, I would throw it in the garbage or in the toilet. Everyone knew not to mess with me. At the end we all became friends. Nobody tried messing with me again.